balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the environment in the atmosphere as we all know that in the nature there are present oxygen and carbon dioxide and some other gases also but have you ever thought that the amount of these gases it more, mostly remains unchanged and balanced so how is it possible how is that maintained and how that remains balanced in the nature the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is maintained through the respiration in plants and animals and by the photosynthesis by plants plants produce oxygen during photosynthesis and utilize the oxygen during respiration they produce much more oxygen during photosynthesis than they consume and this is how oxygen consumed by plants and to a large extent by animals is replenished in the air by the process of photosynthesis as we all know that animals inhale oxygen from the air and they exhale carbon dioxide which goes back into the air and plants use this oxygen for respiration plants also carry out respiration and they use oxygen for respiration and plants use carbon dioxide for the process of photosynthesis and they give out oxygen so oxygen is taken by plants also for respiration and given out by the plants by the process of photosynthesis green plants use carbon dioxide from the air for making food by the process of photosynthesis during the day they give out oxygen in return which goes into the air and the process of respiration takes place during day as well as during the night but the oxygen released during photosynthesis is much more than the oxygen used in respiration by the plant therefore there is a net release of oxygen in the atmosphere so what we want to under what i want you to make understand is that plants they respire as well as they carry out the process of photosynthesis and we all respire and we all use oxygen for that process so in the same way plants also use oxygen for respiration process and they consume oxygen for respiration but when they carry out the process of photosynthesis the amount of oxygen that is given out by the plants is much more is much more than the amount of oxygen they consume during the process of respiration so there is a net release of oxygen into the atmosphere you must have heard that people say we should not sleep under a tree at night time why why should not we sleep under a tree during night time because during night time the plants they only respire and they do not carry out the process of photosynthesis the plants they carry out photosynthesis only during day time when sunlight is present but during night time they only respire and they also release carbon dioxide at that time they use oxygen and they release carbon dioxide so it is advised never to sleep under a tree at night next process is the burning of fuel like petrol wood this uses oxygen from the air and gives out carbon dioxide which mixes in the air that also maintains the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so we can say that respiration by living organism and by burning of fuels and by humans that require oxygen and they release carbon dioxide and plants they use the carbon dioxide and they release oxygen and there is net interdependence